Russia has blamed Ukraine for the collapse of a residential building in border Belgorod region on Friday that killed five people. Russian TASS news agency reported that a stairwell of a five-story residential house in the town of Shebekino in Belgorod collapsed following a Ukrainian shelling on Friday. The governor of the region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, stated in Telegram app that five people were killed after the collapse of the building in Shebekino. Six more people are injured. The remains of four people were recovered from the rubble. Unfortunately, one more person died. It is a woman who was taken to the regional hospital. She was operated on. Her heart stopped several times, and doctors carried out resuscitation measures. The severity of the injuries was not compatible with life, Gladkov stated. The governor added that six people were rescued from the upper floors of the building. According to preliminary data, 20 apartments were damaged during the attack, TASS reported. Yesterday, Ukrainian telegram channels reported a large-scale destruction in Belgorod region's Shebekino town caused by the explosion of ammunition to Solnsopiak TOS belonging to Russian troops. According to Ukrainian media reports, three Russian servicemen were killed and over 10 houses were damaged during the explosion caused by Russia. Video footages shared in Telegram app showed the site of destruction, smoke emerging from the city, as well as rescuers working in the area of destruction. It should be noted that Belgorod region that borders Ukraine's Kharkiv region is frequently targeted by Ukrainian drones in the past. Russians strengthened defense of Crimean Bridge, but Ukraine says the bridge will be destroyed soon. Now the Russian invaders are trying by all possible means to cover the illegally built Kirsch Bridge, but the Ukrainian Navy says that the enemy's hopes for the latest air defense were in vain. This confirms the destruction by the defense forces on the night of June the 12th of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile division near Belbek and the hit of the S-400 divisions near Belbek and Sevastopol. For now, we can state that in fact, the air defense systems of the enemy are actually not capable of protecting against the destructive measures that are now being used by the Ukrainian armed forces to destroy military installations in Crimea. Even taking into account the so-called Triumph system, S-400, this is, they have a top air defense system noted Dmitry Pletenchuk, a representative of the naval forces of the Ukrainian armed forces during the telethon. He added that now the occupiers continue to defend the Crimean bridge in particular with the help of aviation primarily from Ukrainian drones. According to him, there is a large presence of various types of Russian equipment in the air, helicopters, drones, airplanes. But specifically, they mainly use helicopters. They even use KA-27s for patrolling and firing, the military man said. Pletenchuk recalled that the Russians do not yet have the ability to protect the bridge from the sea with the help of ships because the ship boat composition can be hit by the Ukrainian armed forces. Therefore, the Russians changed their tactics. They are narrowing the passage into the bay for which, in particular, they use barges. The military clarified that the narrow passage makes it easier for the enemy to control a certain area. According to him, there are now enemy air defense units, chemical troops and the like around the bridge. But we see that air defense is not as relevant as it was a year ago. Platenchuk emphasized, let us remind you that on the night of June the 12th, the Ukrainian armed forces attacked Russian anti-aircraft missile systems deployed in the annexed Crimea. A group missile strike was carried out on one enemy S-300 anti-aircraft missile division near Belbek as well as two S-400 anti-aircraft missile divisions near Belbek and Sevastopol, confirmed hits in target areas. As a result of the defeat, two radars of the S-300 and S-400 complexes were destroyed. Information regarding the third radar is being clarified. 
Subsequently, the head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budanov, said that the Russian air defense system was being strengthened in Crimea. In particular, the latest elements of the S-500 appeared there. Budanov also said that the Kirsch Bridge is still used for military purposes by the invaders.